Uh, one of the important issues that comes up uh, being a, a practicing plastic and reconstructive surgeon in the state of Alabama is that prior to uh, suggesting surgery or medical interventions for a child, you have to have a diagnosis. You have to have, that seems like an obvious thing, but it's certainly the case here that you have to have a diagnosis. But unfortunately, in the case of transgender, it's all operating under the diagnosis that's made by a child. Uh, children should not be making medical diagnoses that lead to major medical interventions and surgery. Uh, but what it's leading to is irreversible treatments with hormone blockade, puberty blockade, and cross-sex hormones. These are presented as reversible medications. They are not. Puberty blockade has long-term, if not lifelong, consequences for the growth and development of the child, and it actually reaffirms in the mind of the child that there's something wrong with them. Because if you give puberty blockade to a pre-adolescent child, they will not grow along with their peers. They'll fall behind their peers. And every day they look at themselves, they'll look more and more different from their peers. And they'll come to believe that, they, that there, in fact, is something wrong with them. So it's a, it's a self-affirming mistake based on a diagnosis made by a child.